All right, guys, it is late December, like in between Christmas and January right now, and I'm out here on the lake because I'm straight up obsessed. And if y'all are watching this video right now, obviously y'all are too. So we're gonna talk about one thing today, and that's gonna be what is the best wintertime bait. So to start this off, first thing I'm gonna do is hijack the camera, turn around, put Miss Hunter on the spot, let her tell me what is the best wintertime bait. So go ahead with it right now, camera woman, boss lady, everything, brush hog queen. What is the best wintertime bait in the world? I'm not really sure because I I don't fish in the winter because fair weather fisherman. It's very cold. She's and I have my suit on today. Striker but, prism suit. I would say, considering I see what Kyle's done, I'm gonna say a white swim jig. <laughs> okay, white swim jig. The any particular, you know, setup you like to throw that on, Hunter? Setup. Mhm. Mm what kind of rod do you like to throw a white swim jig on? Um, probably a seven thirty. Mm hmm heavy. Yeah. Heavy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kind of reel? Braid. What pound braid? Don't be looking. All right. She's right. In my opinion, the best wintertime bait is a jig. And I usually keep two on the front deck at all times. I keep a swim jig, and then I keep a regular skipping jig on. And you use the trailers that don't have as much action. Exactly. So I can get it down a little bit deeper. I didn't know that so that's what I do, especially whenever the water's clear like this. I use two jigs. So the next thing y'all gonna see is on the chesty, how I fish this swim jig, and I'll fish it all the way from like six or seven foot deep all the way up to six inches deep. I got one, I normally throw the Untamed Tackle Punisher, you know, whenever I'm around grass or keeping it really shallow in the water column. But right now I have the, on the original Untamed Tackle swimming jig. She's got a little bit less bulk. I've got a trailer that's a little bit more streamlined so I can get this bait down a little bit deeper. So let's hop on the chesty and show y'all me catch a couple fish on this thing. And I like to fish it a little bit deeper than you might think, so let's go. So this swim jig is really situational. Like you can throw it anywhere, anytime, no matter what. If you want to, you can just really, you can see how I keep that thing coming through that grass, just as slow as I can get it to come through the grass. That's what I'll do. Especially this time of year, I don't want it to go really fast. I'll throw, pop it over the edge and just let it sink straight down. But the grass is not that great this time of year. Typically, the biggest deal is going to be fishing it around these dock posts and everything. And like I said, very situational. If you got a dock that's in six foot, I'll let it sink on down there, you know, three or four feet. If I got a dock in two foot, I'll just reel it on out about a foot, a foot and a half deep. So I just kind of vary it. It's a very versatile deal because you can skip it on there, let it hit the bottom and just drag it, you know, just like wind it on bottom. Or you can swim it out there in six inches if you feel like the fish is a little more active. So, and it skips really well. So it's awesome. He was dead on. 7.3 heavy is the deal. So you see right there, that dock post is in like four feet. So I'm gonna let it sink down a couple feet. Just reel it real slow. Let it fall down in there, look like a shad, just kind of struggling to get out. Then reel it on out of there. It's a great, great, great bait. All throughout the year, whenever it's cold, they really key in on this jig profile for some reason. We'll, we'll catch a couple on it today. Just fish it so slow out them treetops like that. This grass is way off the bank. Just let it get down there and just, I mean, you're really fishing it very slow this time of year. The fish don't just come and chase it down. The days are super short. The fish aren't, the water temp's not super cold. It's 51 right now, but the days are short. The fish aren't super, super active. So we just pop it along. Dang, the drag was loose. He hit it way out. Look at that. Original swimming jig. Looking good. But my drag was loose. It's a pretty one for this lake. Two, probably about two and a quarter maybe. Not a bad one. Drag loose though. 
This is not good. How about that for a hook set? Skipped him all the way across the dang boat. 7.3 heavy point blank ain't playing. Most untamed tackle original swim jig. Got a hook that can handle it. We'll spot a bass. Nice little keeper. Both the fish I've caught today have hit really far off the bank, which is surprising, kinda, for me. I mean, especially with the water being clear. Just usually the ambush point's really, really close. Sometimes whenever it's cold and the water's stained, you'll make a really good cast to the cover. And then, well, my braid's dug in a little bit. The fish aren't super aggressive, so they kind of follow it away from the cover a little bit. But in the clear water, usually they can see it so good, they eat it really close to the cover. But both of them two ate it pretty far away from the cover, actually. So, a little surprising. Give me a midday update. Midday. Been out here for probably two hours. Caught two bass on a swim jig relatively shallow so maybe catch a couple in the ace jig pick it up flip it around a little bit see if we can catch a couple because obviously the swim jig bite's not super on fire but we have caught two you know one in an hour is not bad for december basically so let's catch us a couple more that was a cool bite i can't grab my dang rock He just came out there so gently, just mouthed it, really. That's awesome. Hooked him good. So, five alt gamakatsu in that thing. Heavy wire. Snatched the fish hard as I can. Didn't bend the, didn't bend the hook. Pretty little two pounder. Nice fish. No coloration on him, which is strange because the water's relatively clear. He's just a standard old green largemouth bass on a swim jig. Hunter's number one winter technique. We're running a little bit low on gas there. 51 gallon tank in this Ranger and uh, looks like we're negative a few gallons. What was the deal today, Hunter? Recap, what happened? Um, we thought there was gonna be a deal. There wasn't a deal. We thought it was gonna be cold and it was cold. And so we're cold and fishless so we're, and gasless. We got no gas, no fish. No good clothes. Just kidding. Got some good clothes. Everything's bad right now, ain't it? No, worse, good. There's a dead beaver. Dead, dead beaver. beaver. Dead beaver on the boat ramp. So, today, the deal was they wanted the reaction baits a lot more. And, obviously, I caught me three or four on the swim jig. Caught me one on the, on the spinner bait. And none on the actual jig that I thought I was going to catch the most fish on. They wouldn't bite it today, so couldn't get them to bite that little jig, but it is a great wintertime bait still, so always fun to throw it. Too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed to be stressed, Hunter says, so got to take the boat out, and we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it, guys. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all.